Hi, and welcome to the show. This is family friendly. Don't ask. I don't wanna be by myself. I don't wanna be. You only appreciate someone when they're not here to help you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make cool transitions the way you did. All I found was this stupid peel effect. <laughs> and what about color grading? What should I choose? This or this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chuck. Just kidding. It's fine. I got this. And it's only gonna get better and better as I learn. You know, like f***ing. The first time is terrible and it only takes three minutes. But then, after a while, it only takes three minutes. Hi, gonna welcome to 3 Minute John. And now the news. Samsung has now the world's biggest phone factory. On Monday, Samsung has opened the world's largest phone manufacturing plant in Noida, India, and the event was big. So big that the South Korean president and his prime minister was there along with the prime minister of India. The new factory will be capable of making up to 120 million phones a year. That's many. Samsung says the plan will be used to make entry-level phones as well as flagship phones like the S9 or the upcoming S10. The total investment was around 716 million dollars. That's many many. But that is a good investment because India has a huge smartphone market and Samsung wants to battle with Xiaomi which is currently the biggest smartphone vendor in India. Even Apple has started to build phones in India, a big number of the iPhone SE have been assembled there, also the iPhone 6S. But the reason more and more companies want to build phones in India is because they increase the import custom fee to 20% in order to encourage local manufacturing. With 400 million smartphone users and a population of 1.3 billion people there's there's many 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 very many 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 more it's understandable why companies want to do business there so the next time you buy a samsung look at the back it might say made in india galaxy 10 for you how the hell did you find me mr chuck told me he also told me to bring you something really yes this is it A new tablet from Microsoft! On Tuesday, Microsoft announced the brand new Surface Go, which is the newest member of its Surface family, and it's made as a rival for the cheaper iPads and the cheaper Chromebooks. The price for the base model is $400. That is not many. It's somewhat cheap, but cheap doesn't necessarily make it bad. Bad mostly it does, but not always. Well, almost. It has a 10 inch display, a USB Type C port, micro SD port, a stylus, a headphone jack, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, a 1.6 Intel Pentium Cabby Lake processor, the Intel's HD 615 integrated graphics unit, an estimated battery life of 9 hours, and it will run Windows Home in S mode. <laughs> ass mode. Yes, I'm that childish. If you want to use it as a laptop, you'll need one of the keyboards that are sold separately. The cheapest plastic one is $100, or you can get the Alcantara version for $130. So then you'll look like a poor bastard that has an extra $30 to throw around. If you really want to go for a cheap tablet, you can get the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. It's a little low on specs, but it only costs $150. Or if you want to go all in and money is no issue for you, you can get the full option 12.9 inch iPad Pro at the price of $1,279. And then you can waltz around in your Alcantara shoes, drive your car on your Alcantara seats, eat your Alcantara salad. I don't think it's edible. Alcantara! If you want to get the Surface Go, it will be available on August 8th. And I'm not saying it's a bad tablet, I'm just saying I hope it doesn't crash. Because Microsoft Windows is very good at crashing. Just like my wife. An airbag for your phone.
Huh? How many of you dropped your phone? All of you did. And if you didn't, you will. Because one day you'll try to grab it out of your pocket and it will slip out of your greasy hands from eating all that KFC. And as it falls to the concrete, you will pray to Liam Neeson it won't break. But it will. It will. <laughs> There are a lot of cases that can protect your phone, but the impact might still damage the interior components. Just like Chuck and Wana damaged my heart by leaving me. <laughs> I chose their best pictures. But now a German engineering student called Philipp Frenzel, Frenzel has made a case that deploys spider-like legs as it falls. With this case, the fall is much more soft for the phone, and this design got Frenzel the 2018 award from the German Society for Mechatronics. It's called Ad Case. Ad stands for Active Damping, or it could stand for Achtung, Tof! It will have an extra battery and it will add 4.9mm of thickness to your phone. Frenzel has patented his creation and plans to make a Kickstarter campaign in order to get funded, and I personally think that this is a revolutionary case. But I have one problem with it. It appears it will only be available for iPhones. Why the hell would you make a case that is only available for fucking iPhones? Why the hell would you make a case? Oh, scheiße! <sighs> This was the show from my new improvised studio. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers! <sighs> Chuck just gave me a message that he's in Greece right now, having fun. I know you're watching this, so check out my new graphic. J just look.